and here we go, right? It's not something that you just dump something on. It's not a big truck. It's a series of tubes. 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 Anyone here is defined by that neutrality is. And we're back. I think it works now. With a series of tubes. Everybody it knows. is still a series of tubes. Still. Hopefully. Hopefully. And and hopefully you can all hear us now, and I guess we'll find that out in a second when everybody pops back up in here. Well, you had sound for a split second. Did I? Yes, I did. Yeah, you had sound. I so did, indeed. I don't know if it... Yay! They can hear us! Ahoy, matey! <laughs> they can hear us now, matey. They can hear us, matey. <laughs> I wish I had an eye patch. It'd be perfect. <laughs> Holy pirates, Batman. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Sad, sad, sad. So, it's Halloween weekend, and we're back. Hey, we should, I guess we should say that first time. Huh? We're back. Yeah. We're back. Woo! We're sick, which is why... Some weird southern plague we picked right. up on the way out of Florida. Which is why we're going to put... um Because I don't want to get any trick-or-treaters sick. We're just going to stay home and watch movies and everything, turn the porch lights off. But we're going to put out a sign that says... You know, house condemned by zombie plague. Do not enter. We have to actually apologize. See, this is this is what happens. For those of you who don't know, if you really do up your house every year for several years for Halloween and and you do it like crazy, crazy Halloween stuff, we've been decorating now every year since we've moved into this house. And we've done the whole like front yard zombie thing and really kind of scared the bejesus out of everybody in the neighborhood. So now we feel like we have to apologize yeah. For not doing it this year, even though we just got back into town a couple of days ago and we're sick and we're trying to get ready to move and everything is crazy and, and it's just nuts. So there you go. Right? Yes. They want to know if you're Tim Drake or Damian Wayne. Or Stephanie Or Stephanie Brown. Brown. Hmm. I don't know because I was thinking about being Batgirl with the thing. Cat, get, whatever. But I don't know. It's a mystery. <laughs> I like Stacy Ann Shevlin. What? No, <laughs> the name. Oh. I was like, what? Had a crazy setup at her place last night. Oh. We we usually do the whole thing because we have a picket fence out front in our front yard. It's very easy to decorate it with barbed wire and, and bodies and, and all the leaves are falling. So it's usually easy to turn it into a cemetery. We actually have had the last couple of years children who are afraid to come into the yard. So we actually take candy outside the picket fence for them. Right. Because they're too afeard. So anyway, that's our Halloween. Still haven't decided if I'm going to submit us for an IWTV award. Yeah. Is that bad? Or is it humble that I don't really know if we deserve to be submitted as a show or host? Is that strange? No. And I'll say I'm we have till We have till tomorrow night to do it. 31st is the cutoff, actually, not the 28th. Um, the 28th is the cutoff for new members. We're already members. <laughs> Aren't we considered new members? Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if, if, if we're going to do that or not. I, I may do it tonight. Um, I'm not sure. I, I I don't think we have a snowball's chance in hell of actually being nominated, but I know it's like, okay, so it's kind of like the lottery. You, you can't win if you don't play, do you right? Throw the money. Like, do you, do you just kind of say, well, I've lost, you know, uh, do you, do I just it, call that an investment in the IWTV right. awards? Or do I say, you know what? I'm, I'm out You're until we know we've <laughs> put a quality product together that deserves to be nominated. Right, for which, us, not that I don't think we do, because no. I think we do. For me, it would be like, okay, so now I'm, I'm going to be out either Thanksgiving dinner or birthday. I'm not, like, <laughs> in my head. Because this month is going to be slim for us because we weren't here. Which yeah. is fine. But that, you know, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm like, well, I'm not getting candy. So no Halloween for the little kids. But that's like 20 bucks. And so, but so it's like, hmm, do I get a Thanksgiving or do I get a birthday? Or neither. 
Because I submitted. Yeah, and because, you know, I mean, we might, we might not be able to go out to dinner because we're getting ready to, to move and we've got a lot of stuff to do before we actually settle right, in Florida. Right. It's just, it's very complicated. Um, I like how the mic is completely obscuring. Obscuring my pirate's my, it's my patch. <laughs> it's your eye patch. <laughs> so I don't want to talk about the IWTV right now because whether or not we submit for an award really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things because you guys are watching and you're watching web series because of what we may or may not say. And that's cool. Right. And see, and Armless just said we could win. I'd be like, yes, but then we have to afford a trip to Vegas. Then we have to figure out if we get, if we do get nominated, we have to figure out how the hell we get to Vegas. Well, we know who we could stay with. Hopefully. Yeah. We just don't know how we're going to get there. We just don't know how to get there. Um, <laughs> we had a good time in Florida. We had a fantastic time at Geek Girl Con on the Women in Web Series panel. If you haven't had a chance to watch it, it is up in two parts on YouTube. Um, can you find the link? It's on uh, Akronon's channel. Um, it. And it really, really would be great if you could watch it and check it out because it was a fantastic panel with a lot of passionate talented ladies and we were proud to be the moderators and proud to be a part of it um it was very successful i think if you judge on the reaction to people afterwards and the fact that we went back to our hotel room and then you know rested a little bit and then and then went back to seattle center to have dinner and actually got stopped by people in the street as we were walking to have dinner uh, through Seattle Center, saying what a great panel it was and how people enjoyed it and asking us more questions about web series. So that There's, like, um, was amazing. You. you know, people, people wanted to hug us for, for and did. being informative. It was like, okay, yay. It was really, really amazing to have that kind of reaction from people about web series and and to feel that kind of excitement from the general public and people who don't right. wouldn't normally be watching. Which, you know, I guess it's better than what Felicia got. I'd rather be asked for a hug <laughs> than, you know, the first question out of the gate by a guy or a girl at a panel at a con saying, you know, can I have sex with you? Be that like, would be a little disconcerting, but not necessarily <laughs> bad, like, depending. You could ask her, but I guarantee you she's going to bash the shit out of you with an umbrella. So. <laughs> That's right. That's how it works. That's how we roll. And it really was, you know, one of my favorite moments was watching people watch the trailers that were shown beforehand of all of our shows and actually laughing in the right spots yeah. and reacting in the right <laughs> spots when they were watching everybody's shows, including the trailer for Indie Entertainment. I thought that was really, really cool. I think the best one was um, for Mind My Brains. When it, when it was, my, my brains, darling. And then this, like, three or four people were like, what? <laughs> Shit, what? I have to see this. Like, that's just where they were at at that point. It was really, really awesome. Um, But, yeah, we don't know if we're going to submit for an award or not. And Shad's leaving it up entirely to me. No, and, I, uh, you know, to me. I haven't decided yet. It's, it's, I would love to cover it, for one, in part. Like I would, I would love, love to, to cover it. I would love that, to be in Vegas and cover it. I would love to be that sort of like standby sort of entertainment tonight. I'm not nominated for anything. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to show up and be pretty and like shake hands. I can just ask people obscure questions on red carpet as they go into an awards show versus, you know, having... Because we've done awards circuit before and it's crazy to go through and do everything that you have to do for an awards and then be there and, and do other things. It would be awesome to present. I, don't think I would love to happen. present, actually. That would that's be my favorite. But that's I not going to happen either. That, that would be fun. But it would be fun. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I have to decide by the morning, so there you go. Um, <laughs> I would hope so, because I'm just kind of like, whatever. But Yay! whether or not we submit for an IWTV award or deserve it or will get nominated is Mox Nicks because this is Halloween. One of our two favorite holidays. We live Halloween most times. The we wear costumes. Like no. we, <laughs> <laughs> we wear costumes often. We do. And it doesn't really matter if it's I a holiday or not. I wore my cat hat to Geek Girl Con. I was happy. I had my unicorn hat on. You did. I did. It was fantastic. Because girl, geek girls and gamers are like yes. unicorns. It's, I got it. It was, it was perfect. Yes. And, you know, I mean, we did a lot of... We did a lot of stuff when we were in Florida. We we acted the fool. We went to the beach. We 
I acted like a homeowner. You are a homeowner. I am now. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) So, and with all the headaches that come with it. Okay. So we are going to celebrate Halloween with the clips that we show you today and the shows that we talk about. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clips to show you, but they are by no means exhaustive of the horror slash thriller genre of web series. And in fact, some of these haven't even premiered yet, and some are about to premiere their second season, just finished their first season. All are worth watching. One I'm halfway through watching right now and completely hooked on. Yeah, I know. But before we do that... All I could hear was, no! No! The first one that we're going to talk about is called Camera Obscura. And Ooh. before you, you load that, there is an interesting little tie-in to primetime with Camera Obscura. That and I you, wondered if anyone caught it. That, and we wondered if anybody caught it, anybody who had seen uh, Camera Obscura before and then watched the uh, series premiere of Grimm the other night. Mm-hmm. In that the actor who played the lead's boyfriend, or I guess the male lead in Camera Obscura... Mm-hmm. Uh, his name is... David Quintoli. D- yes. What she said. Yes. He is the lead in, in Grimm. Grimm. He plays Nick. Which is very interesting. So I don't know uh, how many of you noticed that. That's really my only kudos for that show. That's probably my only kudos for that <laughs> show. I have to say, and, and because everybody's been asking us what we like in primetime and what we don't, not a fan of Grimm. No. Not at all. Like, it didn't capture me. We were three quarters of the way through the episode, and I was over it. Yeah. I would say a third of the way through it, I was bored. It's kind of like, oh, can we? I'm more interested in what happened with the animals. And I think the problem was, in fact, not just the writing, although I agree with Web to Watch that the writing was a problem. They were just too clever by half. And I don't know if, if all of you will know what... Um, I mean when I say that, but they were just too impressed with their own cuteness and their own cleverness. You mean the fact that they made a merge? That they hyper merged? Whatever it is that they thought they did, they thought it was great. And I didn't like it because of that. It was Um, very much, oh look, fairy tales that are bloody and sexy, police procedural. We're awesome. And it's a concept (laughs) that could have worked. But I will say, and and Web to Watch just beat me to it. Once upon a time, totally hooked. Yeah, comes I'm on tonight. To can't wait. I'm like, they're doing it right, and they're not doing it in a way that because talks they didn't down do it in a cutesy like a way that talked down. Yeah, they didn't do it in a cutesy way that talked down to the audience. Once upon a time, did it while still managing to be tongue in cheek, while still managing to be self aware. Right. Did it beautifully, and the story is is top notch and I think that's it's just gonna get better with yeah. once once upon a time. That's what almost has it right. That's what kind of threw me off because um the people who made the substandard for for Buffy and Angel, like that standard set of sort of The substandard, the not so good ones. Right. The tongue in cheek sort of that's what they're going for. They're going for Buffy and Angel. They're going for that sort of tongue in cheek Whedon esque yeah, Thanks. and I agree with Web to Watch. Revenge is one of the shows that actually has my attention the most this season. Mm-hmm. But it's not the show that has my attention most this season. Right. The show that has my attention most this season is American Horror Story. And Revenge. And Revenge is close second. But yeah, I would have to say American, American Horror, Horror Story. Story. Which? I know there are those of you out there who do not like Ryan Murphy. And I will say Ryan Murphy screws a lot of shit up. Him. But I just ignore the fact that he had anything to do with it. And I think probably he's going to have less and less to do with it as a showrunner and as a writer. I I know he directed the first... uh, He directed the first episode. But as the first... I mean, just gets better and better. It is so... I just... (laughs) I'm such a horror fan and I love the show. I think it is done... It's because really it's in, well. It's because it's it's in my vein of horror, not yours. Yours is you. I mean, you have loved horror since forever. I, I love all horror: I subtle horror, overt horror, gory horror. I right. love it all. I can't deal with slasher horror. I can't deal with with something that's really just a visual screw up in my brain. Because you need to get on your mic, they can't hear you. Oh, because I can't let it go. 
I can't, whatever. I agree, Web Homeland is really good. With, with you know, like the Saw stuff and really gory, the remakes of Halloween, I can't watch somebody being eviscerated and having their head torn off and their skull ripped out of their body because it doesn't go away in my head. It just doesn't. It gets it's stuck okay. on a loop this over and over. This has to come off. Okay, anyway, continue. But um, put on the other one. But with American Horror Story, it brings back the sort of Hitchcockian, you know, suspense thriller with a little bit of blood and a little bit of gore. I just like it because it's twisted. And it's exactly, and it's so just psycho. It's a psychological mind fuck. And I just think it really is really hard so, to figure out what's going on. It is so twisted. Yeah. I have pirate fluff. <laughs> it's so twisted, and I love the fact that you can't figure out exactly where they're going. Yeah. And that it keeps people talking, even when they complain about it. It keeps people talking. Oh, I, I know just, it. it's 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 good TV. It it really is good TV. Um, Homeland was really good, but that yeah. kind of doesn't go with our whole Halloween theme. That's okay. Um, I thought Homeland is very very good. I think Claire Danes may get nominated for an Emmy for that show. Probably, but she's gonna be really hard pressed going up against Jessica Lange. <laughs> Jessica, yeah, but she'll be as lead. Jessica Lange is chewing the scenery in America. Oh my gosh. I swear, she has the best lines. Like, okay, um, what does she say? She says to Vivian, you know, you might as well, a woman your age, you, you might, might as well, well just strap a super, stick no, of butter to your ass. you might as well ass. just glue a stick of butter to your ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Instead of having a cupcake. Or where her daughter's like, you know, what am I good at? What am I good at? And she's like, Jesus Christ on a cracker. I don't know. Finger painting. She <laughs> just. I and love I love, I love way. reading everybody's theories. Yes. About American Horror Story. Yes. But I, 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 I want to get back to Camera Obscura and I want to get back to Grimm. Grimm sucked, but Camera Obscura it was good. It was a web series released on Daily Motion. They did it, I think there were 21 episodes, I think. 22. Very, very good. And you should check it out tomorrow night on Halloween. Because they have a game. They do. And you should check it out tomorrow night on Halloween. Here's the trailer for Camera Obscura. It was a great show. It really yeah. was. Their only, I think their only downside was that they released every episode of that show all at once. Like, just boom, and there it was. And then and then the build-up for what could have been for that show may have been a lot bigger. And then the guy going into Grimm, and he could have still been talking about it. And, yeah. and their game that just came out this month and everything else. You know, I think, I think it would have been a better marketing strategy, but I'm not them. All I know is that it creeps my shit out. And that their, <laughs> their makeup, that's all practical effect. That little demon thing, whatever, that you just saw sitting there is practical effect, which I think is great on that show. Yeah, they did a great job with effects. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, oh my god. <laughs> oh, sorry. What? <laughs> the, the nerd was just like, all of a sudden went, Holy shit, oh my god, I have no idea what to say. Because <laughs> it, it freaks you out. It does. I just love the guys, you know, the 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 grandfather characters. Like, all right, let's do this. Let's you know? do this thing. And he's but, not he's not like even a major. No, it's just like you know he's he's suddenly he's a marine. You know, let's yeah. Do this. <laughs> now for and Alana. armless. If if you like the 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 Romero zombie flicks, I think you'll like the trailer for, uh, the next show we're going to talk about, which is an upcoming horror horror web series. That is gonna that OMF geek is talking about. It has been featuring. We gotta mess with Jeff to find out when this thing <laughs> is coming. It's called Chopper, and warning for those of you, this is a slightly gory trailer. But it looks like it's gonna be my kind of show. Yeah, you're gonna. And it's a little bit messed up and twisted. 
And uh, here is the trailer for Chopper. Outcasts live among us. Those who choose a life on the edge. Those who defy the rules of society. For most, harmless rebellion. For others, self-destruction awaits. And if your choices have yet to destroy you, and be warned, something else will. of what you believe. He knows each and every one of your sins. And nothing will stop him from exacting his punishment. Love, love that trailer. Chopper lives. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Amber. We will be watching Lost Girl tonight. Uh, that's interesting. JD said it's a Sleepy Hollow update. Yeah. You couldn't tell that from watching it? Well, no. I'm sick, remember? Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm looking forward to it, though. I mean, they they said summer, so we've been waiting for that one for a while. We'll have to bug Jeff and find out when it's coming to, to OMF Geek. Because mm-hmm. I'm looking for. I love the whole tattoo shop shot of that. Yeah. When you zoom in, you're like, oh, he's going to... Okay. It's something about the tattoo gun still being... Yeah. Because his foot's still on the... Yeah, because he's, you know, head, head is off there. Yeah. And not all the shows we're going to talk about today are gory. Not all of them are older. And, of course, there are older shows like Cell, Compulsions, that should be added to your Halloween list. Um, what was the, the funny guy in the new one that just came out? Well, we couldn't. Funny man. We couldn't get man. it, but we it's on get Daily get Motion. Daily yeah. Motion has it. There's a whole bunch of other ones. Um, I know that the Dog Soldiers prequel web series is coming out. Yeah. So... And tomorrow's the marathon of American Horror Story. So if you haven't seen it, <laughs> Asylum. First four episodes. Oh, Asylum. Yeah. And then, of course, on the show, this well, we'll talk about the show this week. Blackout. Blackout. You have to see that Blackout. That freaked you out. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. The next one we want to talk about is one that's been one of our favorites for the last year. They just finished their brilliant first season. And they're more of a psychological horror show than really gory. Mm-hmm. There wasn't a whole lot of gore in it. Some, but not a lot. Um, they're, they are Indie Award, Indie Intertube Award nominated. They are multiple <laughs> uh, Drama of the Week winners. Mm-hmm. And it's a show you should definitely watch. And it should be on anybody's Halloween playlist for web series. Here is one of several trailers, which we've shown others before. This is the first time we've shown this one for Haywire.
Mommy. Mommy, what's for dinner? What's for Mommy. dinner? What's for dinner? Mommy, what's for dinner? I know that's their previous trailer, <laughs> and the show is not nearly as it's it's just not what that trailer is. Right, but, but it, the I trailer guess, yeah. is creepy as hell. It, that one is is one of the most creepiest, and you're like, ooh, we didn't see her. We got, huh. <laughs> but the show's not like that at all. No, well, parts of it, because you're just it has that moment of, uh, you know, it's like, such a good coming. show. Yeah, really brilliant psychological thriller. I thought, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I'm really getting worse what haywire is more of a mind fuck than a horror true but they do list themselves under horror true it makes you think now the next one <laughs> is really really oh you and this is the one you've been watching like just like endlessly for the past i don't know a few hours like i'm gonna finish and I haven't finished. I'm only about halfway through. It's driving me crazy. I have one loaded on my computer right now that yeah, I can't watch. Bad. All um, I hear is people shouting and screaming. I'm like, headphone song. La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch This one has gotten time. a lot of mainstream uh, coverage because it's Rick Fox. And he did this, from what I understand and from what I've read, as a movie and got frustrated with distribution. And uh, then decided to distribute it on YouTube. So it's a horror web series. And I, it's done in 26 parts. And when they started it, it, it was at the beginning of the month. And it was one a day until Halloween. Tomorrow is the 26th episode. Ooh. It stars, for you soap fans out there, Laura Allen is in it. As well as for you Lost Girl fans, the Morrigan is in it. Emmanuel. Hey. And it is very, very quick to hook you. Because I got hooked really, really quickly. And we are going to show you the first uh, bit. They don't have a teaser, so we're going to show you the very, very short first episode. Which is only a minute and a bit. And then I absolutely encourage you to go to uh, Rick Fox's uh, YouTube channel YouTube channel to check it out, which is Rick Fox TV on YouTube. And definitely check it out because the thing will hook you. It is not uber gory, no, but it is really, really good. So here is your introduction to Hysteria. Our high school reunion is tomorrow. God, I can't believe it's been 10 years since we graduated. Are you going to have a kid by jerking oh, off? Man, I'd do the jolly well. <laughs> Seriously, man. <laughs> 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 High school anymore. Can you close the goddamn door? I can't go unless you're listening. <laughs> All right, who wants to backtrack? It's choking my algebra, man. Oh, I hate that sound. <laughs> Still good. Careful there, Sasquatch. <laughs> mm, I just came out of my body. Never thought I'd see you on your back again. <laughs> you wish. You're feeling better now. Mm -hmm. We should go see a movie. Let's talk here. You two can hang out, right? All right, Aaron, just relax. The f what? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> just ban! 
That's it? Makes you want to never let anybody massage your back again. God, I can't. No, I can't. The, the, the pushing of the spine, that's one thing. The whole, like, when you're gonna, when you're back. No, I hate that. It's like, hey, go see a car. I'm good. I don't want them to do the funky head, you know, shake, and then, crah! I'm not sure Hysteria started as a Celebrate the Web pilot. It's 26 episodes long, but it may very well have. I don't know. Woo! However, speaking of, just to let you and know. And I'm really, really happy that someone just pointed out we only had 19 viewers in the room, but that's only 19 viewers signed into chat. Yeah. Actually. I'm looking at the total viewers, and there's actually more than that. And you know what? This is our first episode back from okay. a three-week hiatus, and we didn't advertise that we were coming back today, so whatever. Yeah. Anyway, uh, speaking of Celebrate the Web, did you know uh, Michael Caruso has been J.D.'s Celebrate the Web plot? Sweet! Yeah! Sweet! Because he's humble like that. Anyway. Who pointed that? Who gives a shit how many people are watching us or not? <laughs> and uh, Rick Fox is dating right now. He's a former NBA player, so that's where some people know him. But right now, his claim to fame is Dancing with the Stars, and he's dating Elijah. Elijah Dishku, and he was he, he was a did a cameo in the Guild this season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo-woo. I'm telling you, I'm totally hooked. Are you not hooked after just that one that, little bit? No. Mm. Yeah. I'm not watching it. <laughs> it was good. I liked it a lot. I am up to episode 13. Well, that's good. I want to watch them all. Oh, yes. You do that. Oh, yes. Now, the next show that we want to talk to you about, and we're going to get through these last three, and then we may end a little bit early today because clearly I'm still not feeling well. Uh the next one is a new web series, and they have done some really, really interesting things with their business model in cross-promoting other web series. They are also a transmedia project that has a hard copy comic book, and they have they did some free advertising for a lot of web series as well. So I applaud them for doing the cross-promotion. I think it's awesome, and more web series should do it. And the show is creeptastic and a lot of fun to watch. Very much a psychological thriller as well as horror. I don't find it all that gruesome. But you be the judge yourself. Here's the trailer for Inner Demons. I introduce himself as <laughs> doesn't even say my name is Mephisto and you're like you are all screwed at this point with a shaved head and a beard that goes about two feet long and it's braided with red beads and he calls himself Mephisto you're in trouble just saying Ragged Isle is not <laughs> in our horror no cause it's episode I because that for me Ragged suspense. Isle is thriller suspense drama Although Ragged Isle is right up there with American Horror Story. I would put it... It's up, Yeah, it's up there. But we wanted to show some things we hadn't shown. Yeah, some new stuff that some we hadn't stuff. shown before. We'll yeah. get on it. Don't worry. Ragged Isle's coming. They only had three Ragged more Isle's weeks coming. We film. cannot wait to have them on the show again. They had three more weeks of filming, and then they would be done. And that was when we left on our trip. So they may actually be done by now. Truth. Truth. So why are you snoring? Do you want to... Uh... What? Dead Hour. Yes. Is the next one. Yes. De- have you seen it at all? I've seen the preview. I I had read an article about it months ago that it was coming, and then I missed it. Because now they're doing, this is their season two. 
promo. Right. Um, but it's in that same sort of Twilight Zone creep show. Creep show. Vein. It's very well done, I think. I think so, too. And we'd be interested to know what you think. Here is the season two promo for Dead Hour. Welcome back, my luscious little lambs. I've missed you. all about i mean her her radio show is called the dead hour yeah yeah so yeah good stuff you have to watch it you gotta watch the whole first season it's out there i'm sitting here trying to find out about hysteria and i forget where i even saw it the first time you know yeah i don't know where did you see it? you found well, not it. from celebrate the web no because i found it in an article about rick fox yeah. And like a couple, you know, weeks ago before we went on our thing. Hello. That was calling. Cricket would like to say hello. <laughs> you just move stuff over there. Aren't you know? glad we're back? Golly. <laughs> anyway. So the next one's also coming into season two. Season, season two. Well. And they're the only one. Uh. I think that we've, besides Haywire, that we've actually shown or talked about before. Uh, they they finished shooting season two in the Austin, Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth uh, area. And season two should be coming up. They are right here on Mingle Media, as well as Coldcast and other places. And we cannot wait to see season two. And I'm really hoping their episodes are longer because it was such a good first season. And if you haven't seen it, it should definitely be on your list of things to watch to scare the pants off you tomorrow night. Here is the trailer for season one of Throwing Stones. Do you think they're coming back? Don't you get it? We're the broken windows. A window gets broken in a building. No one fixes it. Soon the whole neighborhood goes to hell. Sit here on your ass, count the seconds till you die. Let me know how it all works out for you. What are the broken windows here at Blair? And how can they be fixed? Seriously, I love it. Was such a classic, like, slasher film. It's like <clears throat> the the chick wire tied to the security gate because <laughs> she's zap strapped to the security she gate. totally it was really good it and was like, like the breakfast club jd's right it was i mean armless is right it was like uh breakfast club in hell right jd and, and armless had it right oh look it's a wire tie that's it you should cut your hands off before you could ever get out can i help you? that's all we got today guys oh, my Lord. it's our first day back this was kind of like getting back into the stream of things again our official welcome back is the podcast on Wednesday. And guess what? Uh, what? Tell them. We have big guests on Wednesday. Tell them! We have Pretty the Series. We have Jeannie Francis. <laughs> we have Stacy McQueen. We have Martha Byrne. And we have executive producer mastermind Steve Silverman. Woohoo! And they will all be on the show on Wednesday. So it's our Pretty the Series Season 3 <laughs> in the inner tube episode on Wednesday. And we cannot wait. 
I can't wait to talk to Jeannie Francis because, you know, she's Jeannie frickin' Francis. Right. And we've talked to Martha Byrne before, so that's going to be fun. And Stacy McQueen is Stacy McQueen, and I we can't to wait to find out about, about, yeah, we do, don't we? We do. We have to get her. We have one here that she was supposed to come see. Yeah. But I don't, I don't but, think we're here. After that, we have booked up November, and we have got some exciting guests coming this this month. And and because we don't have the dates really finalized for all of them and exactly how it's going to work, I will just tell you who they are. We have Blake Calhoun coming on the show to talk about Continuum and uh, Pink. We have the cast of Aiden 5 coming on. Woo! Get to talk to Maya, which will be cool. And we have the mastermind behind Receiver coming on yeah that'll be fun that is going to be a great great november of interviews and people that we get to talk to to find out how they're doing what they're doing in this space right because pretty's actual episode goes online the first doesn't correct on tuesday so nobody's missed pretty yet their season three premiere is on tuesday the day before our show they had their red carpet event this past weekend Correct. So, so if you were at that red carpet event, you got to see a little bit of what is going to happen this season. <laughs> if, the, um, if the preview trailer didn't tell you what was going to happen, then just... <laughs> I, I need to buy those people a drink. <laughs> and then, of course, we also have all the new web series to talk about. Funny Man. Dragon Age. Want to talk more about Receiver. There is Odessa. There's a whole bunch of new stuff that... Osiris. That, Osiris. I know. I'm like all my shows. I'm behind. I will admit to being behind. And I we have, have that over the next two days. the season finale of Blood and Bow China. I know. Which means I get to do my video now. So there's a lot to talk <laughs> about this week. River Ridge is coming. Yes. Continuum. Venice season three is coming. Mm-hmm. There's a lot coming up. There's a lot of new stuff. There's a lot of stuff that's coming back. Divanity is coming after the first of the I year. Know. Ragged Isle is coming back. I We're excited. We're excited. And we're also excited to bring you more new and exciting things with Indie Intertube. As we move into the first of the year and Indie Intertube moves and settles into its new home with its much better bandwidth and better equipment, hopefully once we get sponsors, which... We will. Right. Now, it's time for us to let you go. And watch all those shows. And, and watch all of those shows shitless. and scare the pants off of yourself. <laughs> go scare yourself shitless. And if you don't want to <laughs> deal with trick-or-treaters tomorrow, you know what? Put your big screen TV in front of a window and play some of these shows. Yeah. Through a USB stick or something. It'll work. It'll scare the pants off them. None of them will come to your house if you play every episode of Camera Obscura on a loop. I and, I'm, and I'm going to go and try to get well and figure out whether or not I'm going to submit us for an IWTV award. Right. If you have an opinion, tweet me and let me know. Other than that, <laughs> we will. Everybody have a safe and happy Halloween. And we'll have fun. Scare the pants off of somebody. Right. Go to a hunt Even house. if it's only yourself. Do something. Scare your dog. <laughs> and we Whatever. will talk to you on Wednesday and we will see you next Sunday. <laughs> Good night, everybody, and happy Halloween. It's not something that you just dump something on. It's not a big truck. It's a series of tubes. 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 Anyone here is defined by that 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 neutrality is. Friday, I got it. It's a series of tubes. <laughs>